Hey, Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to remove the default Windows 10 picture. This one right here. Some might call it an avatar. And if for some reason you don't like it, we can remove it. We have to do a couple of steps. A little bit of a pain, but not too bad. I'm going to walk you through it step by step, including a couple of issues you might run into that are no big deal. And we'll start by loading up a page in the background that has an article that goes with this because we really, really need it here. What happens is this is going to load up. First thing we need to do is replace a picture. So we're going to start with step one. There's two steps. Download this PNG from Major Geeks. So you click there. Click download either one here or where the little arrow is scrolling. And go ahead and it will automatically start. When it's done, it will have downloaded right here. Transparent user 192 zip. Double click and extract this picture anywhere you want. So I can find it easily. I'm just going to put it here in downloads. There you go. And when you're done, there it is. So now that we have the picture, we want to go to your C drive and we want to scroll down to program data. If you do not see program data, it's important to stop here and make sure that you click the view tab up here and make sure file name extensions is checked and hidden items because without hidden items, you won't see the program data and without file name extensions, you see how I see the dot JPEG. You won't see that and we're going to need both of those. So file name extensions, hidden items. Go to program data, go to Microsoft, scroll down and find user account pictures. What we want to do is find this user 192.png, click on it, come to the end of it and change the .png to .bak. There you go. Now that that's done, let's go back to our download, get our new PNG. Copy it, go back, paste it with a right click, go ahead and click replace it, continue, blah, 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 Just click, click, click. Now there's your new one. So we're done with that. So now all we need to do is we need to go in and edit the registry. So hit your Windows key plus R and type in regedit. Come back to the page and copy and paste this line right here, short of the period at the end of the sentence, which I probably didn't need, but here we are. Clear this out, go like that, control V to search. And you can see you are in the Explorer. Now we're looking to add, use default tile. You can type it or you can copy it right here. Same as we just did, right click copy. So over on this pane right here, we wanna right click, do new, D word 32 bit value. You can see this is here. So now you can either type or control V to insert use default tile. Now double click the use default tile and change the value of data to one. Click OK. Now we'll need to reboot to see the changes. And before we do that, just so you, you can see what it looks like. It should look like this and we're done unless I screwed something up, which I really hope I didn't. Down below here is the group policy editor. It's not much different. So you can just follow this simple thing here. Go to this line if you know how to use group policy editor. And it's just one quick change. I like the registry edit. If you change your mind later, don't forget you're going to need to go back and change your pictures around. So you'd actually delete your current PNG and then rename the dot back to dot PNG. Pretty simple to revert back. There you go. And then delete that registry key that we just made to use default tile. So hopefully everything works. That's pretty much how you do it. And we're going to confirm that it's working and call it a day. Give me a quick second here. And we'll give it a quick restart. Things will probably bounce on your screen for a second. I guess I could have just signed out too. You could always try that. Give it a second to reboot. It doesn't take too awful long with the SSD drive, but VMware tends to run just a tad slower. So here it comes. You should see everything you saw before, but you shouldn't see the default picture here should be nothing just this rest of the screen there you go as you can see the user avatar or picture on your sign-in screen is now gone a neat little trick I don't know I can actually kind of like it I think I'm gonna stick with it I'm not sure I always go out of my way for it but it's cool so there you go something new something different hey as always thanks for watching and we'll see you next time